Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 1228, missing number in arithmetic progression. The way we'll be approaching this problem is by um, understanding what the difference that we can expect between each element and using that to see what element uh, we can expect next. And the way we get the difference between each element that we're expecting is by looking at the first and the last element. We know that the first and the last element of the array, they uh, they cannot be edited out as me um, in the sense like they cannot be removed. So you can use that to get the difference. So for example, in uh, first, let's get the size. So uh, int n is equal to int um, array dot length, and then you want to get the diff, uh, the difference. So that would be you were, you would want to get the last element of the array. And you want to subtract the first element of the array and divide it by n. So what exactly does this mean? We know that there's this one element that is missing, right? And so there are n differences. So this difference that you see multiplied by n will give you everything that you will find in the array. So once you, so this will help us find the individual difference between each and every single element. Um, I hope that made sense. So using that, let's say, let's initialize um, i2 array of zero. So this is a element that we know should occur um, in the first um, first occurrence for the in the first element of the array. And you keep adding the difference to this i to understand which element should come next. As soon as it's not equal, you return uh, that as a result. So in a from air, um, array, so you'll check, hey, if a is not equal to i that means um, the element that we're looking at is not equal to the number that we expected you would just return i otherwise you would just increment of i by the difference so what you're doing with i is that you just uh, we know that know how the arithmetic progression is um, is following we use and the way we know that is by using the difference that we got on uh, on line 10 and we use that to look at the expected element. Um, awesome. So in the end, we just return, return i. Awesome. So let's compile this and see if it's OK. Uh, all right. The first test case is OK. Everything else is OK as well. Awesome. Um, so that's the solution for this problem. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. I would really, really appreciate that. And see you all in the next video. Peace.